Apartments Education for Duncan Apartments as well as a couple other buildings. Um, but yeah. My name is McKenna Parsons. I'll be filming today's live. I'm and Scott Parker. I work in housing. Yes, flip nice. back. Okay, where are we going first? All right, so right here we have Duncan Building B. This is our community building. Uh, we have a lobby area, an exercise room, and this is where the front desk is. So if you have questions kind of centered around like <laughs> different events that are going on for um, like an apartment, as well as if you have kind of like um, any concerns, you can come up here or call the RA on duty, especially if you're locked out of your building. Um, this is also where you're going to find a lot of programs. Um, so the RAs will put on programs. Just last year we had kind of like an ice cream social and a few, you know, like hot chocolate socials back towards the outdoors area there. Um, as well, the exercise room, it's free to use. It's on the second floor of this building as well. Awesome, yeah. let's go in. Wonderful. So this is the front desk. Hello, hello. Yep. Um, so again, this is kind of where, especially if you have like large packages, um, these apartments have mail that usually goes to that, your mailbox back that way. Um, but if you have especially large packages, they usually be here. Um, and again, here is kind of the lobby area. So it has uh, fireplace, a sitting area, as well as like, a TV for um, that should have like Cox cable with it. Here we also have the kitchen area. So um, you're free to use the uh, equipment that's still here. You just use your student ID to check them out, mm -hmm. or you can use your own. It has a microwave, a community fridge, and as well as um, just like cooking material back here. Yeah. Let's see, let's go over. Where's headed now? All right, right now we're headed kind of up to, uh, back towards the mailboxes as well as up towards the balcony, mm -hmm. so we can kind of see into the exercise room. Uh, I do believe it's currently being used, so it yeah. will just be a quick glimpse, but yes, yeah, you lead the way. <laughs> so, you can go ahead. So where are we oriented roughly on campus, right here? Right here. So we're right next to the Office of Sustainability, um, JB Hunt, and near the business building. So kind of, if we like back towards that way, like mm -hmm. facing Harmon Parking Garage, you would find the business building, uh, Office of Sustainability, um, and kind of back towards uh, Kimple Hall as well. Um, so right here, we have the exercise room, currently in use right now. But definitely we have um, equipment that's free to use as your resident. Uh, Just a quick look. Awesome. So how many buildings is Duncan made up of? So Duncan is made up of five buildings. So the furthest one back that way should be Duncan E. And this one that we're at right now is Duncan B. Uh, no one lives here. It's just a community building. And uh, this one right here is Duncan C. Awesome. Yeah. So we're headed to tour a room, yep. right? And then after that, we'll just go ahead and go back down, see the um, mail spot as well as the outdoor area. Awesome, perfect. Yeah. Apartments 205C. Um, this is kind of the showroom. All of these will look the same um, between Duncan's apartments E through A. 
We do have a question. Yeah. Um, for the gym, can any resident on campus use it or only people that live in Duncan Avenue apartments? It's supposed to be Duncan Avenue apartments. Um, just with like, that's kind of the perk of living here. Um, but you can bring friends if you're like already a resident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And definitely ask any questions you guys have. Keep them coming as we tour this Duncan apartment. Yeah. So these, this is kind of the common area. Um, it comes furnished with all these different things like a couch, the coffee tables. Mm -hmm. um, so you can find the measurements online on the housing website. Housing.uark.edu. Yeah. And back here, it comes furnished with a full kitchen. So this is like your own fridge, um, and a stovetop, microwave, and the dishwasher. As well as having like, this as well comes with the Duncan Apartments, the little kitchen dining area. Okay, someone asked, can we measure the size of the kitchen cabinet? Um, if you could be a little bit more specific, we would love to help you out with that. Um, but we can just maybe measure the countertop length. Yeah. That's not the cabinet, but let us know which cabinet you're wanting measured. <laughs> um, say this is around two feet and three fourths of an inch. So the depth is just around two feet. Yeah. Maybe let's do a cabinet width and depth if we want to okay. open. Yeah. Yeah. So right back here we have uh, 14 and a half by 28 and 3 fourths. Perfect. And then the inside here, just, yep. yeah. Do depth, depth. Yeah. like. Um, 10 and a half inches. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Someone else asked if they can have an air fryer, do you know? And, um, air fryers, you won't be able to have, it's kind of more of a like fire safety issue. Mm -hmm. Um, so those, as well as a few other items, like candles especially, yes. because it can like A, cause a little bit of smoke that will lead to like the apartment like sounding off, mm -hmm. as well as just like a fire like safety hazard. Um, so that, you can find it on the housing website, but there's like a list of banned items that you shouldn't have, like electric bike, um, batteries as well. Mm -hmm. Someone um, else asked about space for a rug, if we want to just measure this area between the couch and the chairs floor-wise. Yeah, that would be great. Between the couch and the chairs. Um, let's see. Sorry. It's not exactly the best. Hold on. Sorry. You're good. We also have this electronic one. Scott, did you yeah. get something with that? Nine feet squared. So nine feet. Better, yeah. Yep, squared. <laughs> if that's squared. helpful. Um, someone said, can they have a George Foreman grill? Um, Probably not. <laughs> you know, like anything that's like an open type of grill, you don't really want to have. Um, again, there's like stove tops that you can use, mm -hmm. but if I'm not mistaken, that's also on the list. Of yes. Like items. Yeah. Can we real quick measure this couch? Someone's wondering to buy a cover. Buy the a dimensions cover. of the couch. Yeah. It's around. Uh, 57 inches wide. Okay. Yeah. And maybe the back to the end. Yeah. Roughly. <laughs> Roughly uh, around 33 inches. 33 inches. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yes, we will be showing a bathroom. Is this a two bathroom or a one? This is a one bathroom. This is a one bathroom. So we will not be showing a two bathroom, but we can give a rundown of what that looks like. Yeah. So we're headed upstairs. And this one both, um, how many bedrooms are in here? Um, so there's four bedrooms in this top floor. Mm -hmm. um, right now we'll be looking at um, the eighth suite or um, A suite. And that has kind of access to the balcony that's back behind here. Um, so if you look at the bathrooms, uh, these are what the bathrooms look like. Um, there's two showers for right here. Or uh, not two showers. This is the toilet. Sorry, there's two different um, things. There's one shower, there's um, one toilet right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then here. Yeah. This is the shower. Mm -hmm. Lovely. 
Is there a utility closet for brooms, vacuums, etc.? Um, I believe the room downstairs is locked. That is where the air conditioning is, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, so back in here, we have washers and dryers. Um, on the side, you should be able to fit like brooms and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so you can use that. Yeah. Perfect. And as well, you also have access to armoires. There should be. Yeah, there's armoires in the room. So if you want to use that as a way, it's um, pretty tall. It's like tall enough to have any supplies and everything. Yep. Awesome. So this is a bedroom. Yep. So this <laughs> is one of the bedrooms. Um, you know, you can arrange the furniture however you want. Just make sure not to have the furniture outside of the apartment. Um, so it comes furnished with all of these. And they definitely move around. Do we want to go out on the balcony? Yeah. So which room is this? Which room type has a balcony? This is suite A, and it should also be suite B that has the balcony area. Mm -hmm. um, and the rooms back that way kind of just look out towards the parking garage. Yep, beautiful. This is it right here. Um, definitely, if you want to bring any lawn chairs or anything like that, you can set them right outside of here. We'll head back inside. I do see all your questions about measurements. We'll get to them as we can. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, and again, uh, the housing website should have the measurements for all of these, mm -hmm. um, especially in the room. Do all of them come with a headboard? Um, I'm not familiar. They should, they should come with a headboard. Um, we just recently saw two rooms that have them. And I have seen different size headboards. The, the one in another room is about half this tall, but yeah. it does still have a headboard. Yeah, um, if there's one that doesn't come with it, you can go ahead and put in a maintenance request and mm -hmm. see um, if, it, if there is one that's missing or if it doesn't come with it. Um, definitely you can put in a UR fix it request. Um, that goes with all other maintenance concerns as well. Unless it's like a safety hazard, then you would want to call the REM duty for that. Um, and then we can get it sorted out. Someone asked if the beds can be lifted with those black canisters that you can buy on Amazon. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm not. Sorry, You're not I'm sure. I'm not familiar with okay. um, anything like. Now, let's see. As far as I can tell, yes. Um, as long as they're strong enough, I don't see why you couldn't lift the bed a little bit taller with those um, canisters you can buy on Amazon. Someone yeah. has a question about the wall in the bathroom. If we could go to the toilet. Yeah. So they were asking about this wall across from the toilet, if we could just get the width of the wall. The width, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the long wall, can you reach that? Yeah. Sure. And then we'll get the short wall next. Just over six feet. And then this one across from the toilet. How about that one? Yeah. Should be around three, three feet and an inch. Yeah. Three feet and an inch. Okay. Another person asked about the wall on the balcony. If we want to go back out there and measure that. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Is that one on the website or no? The balcony? Um, Probably not. And maybe it should be able to walk out there on the website. There should okay. be a virtual tour that you can also see. That mm -hmm. is kind of like the Google Street View that you can Yes, so housing.uark.edu, there is Matterport 3D tours. It's like if you had a VR headset on, yeah. but you can walk through the space um, and actually measure things in that as well. It's around 55 inches. 55 it's inches, okay. This wall right here. Uh, We're doing the entire wall, including the door here. Nine feet, one inch. Nine feet and an inch. Do you want to yeah. measure the window just for fun, in case the someone window. asked about that? Yeah. See, including the frame, it should be um, 70 inches. Uh, this, around 64 inches. So someone said, are the bedrooms single occupancy? Um, yeah, so they're suite style, mm -hmm. so you won't have a roommate. It's just that um, everyone is able to use the common space. Um, 
for like the dish, uh, the washers and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And then another person asked about the dimensions of the headboard. So we can measure this one, but that may not be the case uh, for all of the headboards. Yeah. Uh, Does it say on there? Let's see. No. Um, this headboard, and it should be three A, should be forty inches through. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, and just with the length. Since it's kind of like curved. Um, yeah, that's yeah. hard. Can we get the measurement? Oh, you got it? It's around 26 inches from here. But yeah. So can we get the space under the bed? Because a lot of people have questions about putting drawers under there. And this yeah. does not look like it locks. <laughs> yeah. Um, so across, it should be 39 inches. And then if someone had the height of a bucket, what is that from the floor up? Height of a bucket. Um... Not including the, the metal. The metal right here? Yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Should be around 20 inches. Just 20 inches or a little bit yeah. under that should be your depth. So, yes, your best option to get this taller is probably those, um, man, I don't know what they're called, but canisters that you can get on Amazon that bump it up another roughly few inches, three, four inches. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? If I miss them, send them again. <laughs> Someone asked the width of the balcony railing. I don't know. Is that going to be consistent at all? Um, it should be. It should be. Okay. Yeah, well, for building C, it should be. For building C. And if you would want to, I don't know if this one would go that far. Hundred and twenty-two inches. And then what is this? This looks like yeah, four inches maybe. I could be totally off. Let's see what it is. <laughs> it's actually exactly. Four it's inches. four inches. I'm good. <laughs> Someone asked about a rug for the bedroom. How would we want to measure that? What size would be good for the bedroom? I think that does depend on if you want it to kind of go underneath furniture, but we can definitely measure maybe from the edge of the desk here to the bed and give you that measurement. Yeah. Let me go across here, hold on. Really? Yeah. Uh, you hold yeah. this with Yeah. It's seven foot and around, oh, it's the edge of the bed? Yeah, yeah. it's four foot and two inches. Should be 46 inches, yeah. Okay. Someone asked what size is this desk? We're what gonna give them size? quick dimensions. That will definitely be online. The desk is definitely online. Yeah. Housing.uark.edu, you can get a lot of the furniture measurements. So the closet, the drawers, the nightstand, all of those measurements should be at housing.uark.edu. Let me see. Mm, can we get the measurements of the insides of the drawers? The drawers. The inside of the drawers? Yes. So okay. let's do nightstand first. Yeah. So width and depth. And length. See. It's fine. Three, three, one, nine. Yeah. They're one foot three inches deep. One foot three inches deep. And, uh, that one's hard to do. An inch and a half high. Or, uh, inch and a half mm -hmm. high. Okay, what about width? Uh, a foot wide. A foot wide. Okay, and then if we could do maybe just this top drawer right here. Yeah. It's one foot seven inches deep. Two inches, uh, two feet, three inches wide. Mm -hmm. By seven inches high. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any other questions? Back to the bathroom. The area over the toilet. Good specification. Um, so if we could get that electronic measurement, it could go to the ceiling really easily. And that's kind of yeah. hard with a tape measure. It is 
So to the ceiling right here. Five feet, seven inches. Five feet, seven inches. Okay. And then we already got width earlier above the toilet. Um, real quick, could we measure the space beside the toilet in case someone has racks to go there? Um, kind of like the space to the side? Yeah, yeah, so like the furthest point of the toilet to the wall. Let's see, around 11 inches. Around 11 yeah. inches right there. And none of these measurements will be perfect. Um, that's just something you're gonna have to see when you get here, but we are trying to help you out. So keep asking all the measurement questions you have. Mm, actually, let's go right back to the toilet. Someone asked the height of the toilet. <laughs> around 17 inches from there. 17 inches. Um, let's see. More fully around 32 inches. Awesome. Like from um, floor to, yeah. Um, someone asked, does the shower hold a corner pressure caddy that goes from ceiling to floor? Ooh, that is awfully specific. We can definitely show you the shower. Um, I'm not sure about that measurement though. Uh, let's see in let's here. See. There's definitely a couple little built-in spots. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, then that's just the shower head that comes with it. Um, that's not the bar. Yeah. Awesome. What all areas of the bathroom could storage be added? So I think this is a really good spot for maybe a cart or shelf of some sort next to the shower right here. Um, additionally on the counter, there's this large space in between the sinks that storage could go. You also have all the storage underneath the counter and the sinks and in the bathroom across from the toilet, I think additional storage could definitely go. Yeah. Awesome. I say let's head back downstairs and see if people have more questions down there. And what neighborhood is are we a part of currently? Yeah. So we're in um, the Ozark neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So that includes Walton, sorry, Walton, Duncan, and Gregson. So um, if we have neighborhood programs, they'll usually be kind of spread out between the buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them can be here. Some of them will be kind of at Gregson or Walton. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to go there. Definitely check Hogsink. Um, we've had things like spray paint nights or uh, movie nights at the different buildings. So just make sure to check Hogsang. There'll be a bunch of stuff there. We're actually required to, uh, as resident assistants, kind of put them on there. So definitely, yeah. Um, someone asked about the space from the top of the cabinets to the ceiling, if we could get that. And I think that'll be for you. Yeah. <laughs> there are one foot eight inches. One foot eight inches. Perfect, thank you. And today, this is the only Duncan Avenue apartment we will be touring. Um, but if you're wanting to look at the two bedroom apartment, you can definitely find that online, housing.uark.edu, Matterport Concept 3D. You can walk through the space and measure things in there. And I believe that is, that is available yes, there. It's on the Duncan page. It's on the Duncan page, yes. Okay, kitchen drawer measurement. Let's do this and then we can probably go, go see mail, how that works here. Yeah. One foot seven inches uh, deep and two feet one inches wide. The depth is pretty shallow because you've got this wood here. Oh. So that looks yeah. like maybe three inches. Yeah, I'd say three or four inches. Oh. And do we also, is that a little drawer? We can check that one too. Yeah, let's see that. It's uh, one foot eight inches deep. Five inches mm -hmm. wide, and then about four inches high. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go see mail in the outside area. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that's the con. What do you call that building? The oh, main. <laughs> Is this community building? Yes, community yeah. building. That's the community building. This is C all the way through here. And now we're headed back up that direction to go see mail. Yeah. 
we can go ahead and point out uh, this building right here is Duncan D. Mm -hmm. This is D. And then kind of right next to this community building is Duncan A. Is this kind of a central location for mail for yeah. most of the buildings? Yeah. So okay. unless it's unless these mailboxes aren't big enough to handle whoever you order, mm -hmm. uh, then you would want to check with the community building where we have a, our desk admin and RAs can hand out packages during package hours. But these, you will have a, a mailbox queue and you can get into them uh, whenever they arrive. Someone asked, is Duncan all freshmen this year? All freshmen. Um, in the past, we've had like a mix of different classes, but I, I would have to check. Um, like, yes, people are still signing up and everything, but there will be freshmen, to my knowledge, in the buildings yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. Typically speaking, I feel like Duncan Avenue is upperclassmen, but yeah. with such large incoming freshman classes, that does get changed. So. Yeah, we often have uh, sophomores through seniors. Um, so like from last year, but it's usually in large part freshmen. Someone asked, does each student get a mail key, apartment key, and key for bed for the bedroom? Are um, those all separate keys? You'll definitely, so it's not a combined key, so you'll have different keys for the suite door, um, the front door, and you should be able to get a mail key. Um, if it's like a sign on your housing portal, you will have a mail key. Yes, yeah. Um, for that. Yes. Yeah. And the bedroom doors do lock, right? They, you'll be able to lock them. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So where are we headed now? Right now we're headed to the outdoor space. So again, uh, last year we had things like s'mores nights out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, a fireplace, a grill. And I believe there's also outdoor storage for if you have a bike, you can lock it in there. Yeah, we can go back. Um, okay, cool, cool. Definitely like anything durable that you have. Um, can go it's nice because it's not just out in the open. Your bike's not just, you know, yeah. locked to a pole. Uh, Little bridge here. Yeah, so this is the outdoor space. Uh, we just have kind of like bench and area back here as well as uh, campfire. Um, if there are programs here, we'll have our CRE for uh, fire safety. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely like we have these outdoor amenities as well. Awesome. Yeah. And now we're headed to see the inside of the storage, the outdoor storage. If you want, let us know where you're tuning in from. Welcome to the live, <laughs> if you're just now joining. We did already tour um, a room and the common spaces and now we're doing the exterior of Duncan Avenue Apartments. Is it open? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we look in there? There's a few uh, things in there. They're oh, left behind. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> a cart. Yeah. So this is just some outdoor storage for you guys. Definitely lock your stuff up if you are going to have it in here. Um, but yeah. yeah. Is this the only one or are there multiple? There, it looks like there's multiple. Okay. Uh, I think this may, might be another one. Yeah. Some of them already in use for... Um, yes. Interns. We, we people are currently living here. So yeah. these are all on the first floor. Awesome.
Do you guys have any other questions for us? So someone's asking, um, they're trying to verify if the bedroom doors lock from the outside with a key. Um, yeah, so for your suite, like the bedroom, yeah. you have your own key yes, that yes. you can use to lock it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining today's live. This has been Duncan Avenue Apartments 2023 and have a good night. <laughs>